Took it at a moment, there's no sense for me to quit What you say, we don't know I'm just trying to reach my goals Heard you snitching, saying it so You can't hang with me no more What's up guys, Chris with Red Access And I'm back with another amazing video, man I don't got the green screen up today Because we're not going to be doing a reaction We're actually going to be doing a song review You know what I'm saying Just now, I just reacted Well, not reacted to, but I just watched the little foot, big foot, childish Gambino music video, man. And I got a lot to say about it, man. I got a lot to say about it. I really feel like y'all know how I get, you know what I'm saying, with the mentals and stuff like that. I really be feeling like stuff is deeper than what it is. And it's clear that the music video is deeper than what it is. And, you know, obviously childish Gambino wants you to look deeper than the surface level of what the music video is showing us. You know what I'm saying? So I did a little bit of research, you know what I'm saying, going deeper into the you know certain stuff that he put inside of the music video and i want to talk about it so first things first man i want to talk about the lyrics itself because in the beginning of the music video he goes this song is dedicated to all the boys who lost their pappy because he like asked the question how many of y'all you know saying lost y'all pappy and he puts his hand up but nobody else puts their hands up you know what i'm saying it's almost like everyone was judging him from the start and so he puts his hand down and he go ahead and starts the song or whatever, right? And first of all, the song was fire. <laughs> the song was fire. But at the same time, it was like, it was just, it was just like too jolly. And like, when I was hearing the song, I didn't necessarily like, I wasn't able to piece together what he was really saying. I was just listening to the song like, it was hard. And then, you know, I go deeper and I'm looking at the lyrics and what he's saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, he really said that? Like, this gotta be a completely different song. There's no way he was rapping about this stuff on that Holly Jolly Mariah Carey freaking making my way. I know she didn't make that song. Making my way downtown, walking fat. That's what I felt like I was hearing. I felt like I was hearing a white chick song. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was hearing something. That Taylor Swift could have made or something like that. I don't even listen to her, but that, that's what I pictured in my mind, you know? You look at the lyrics, and we can go ahead and look at the uh, verse 1. You know what I'm saying? Little foot, big foot, get out the way. Busting out bells, I've been busting all day. Busting out bells, we was, serving, we was selling that hay. Hay probably meaning like, you know, weed or whatever. He's talking about, you know, drug dealing. Uh, we moving through that, we moving that snow. Yeah, I was riding, I was riding that sleigh. Double cup seeds, had to put them in the safe. Got, got the semi on deck, 45 AK. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, he really said, you know what I'm saying? He's basically saying all the, you know, he's, it's like a trap song, but it's on a, on a, on a, you know, Holly Jolly beat. He goes, serving up fiend, I remember that Jay. Brought his daughter to the house, I was crying all day. And it's like, he's telling a story. He was serving a junkie that brought his daughter to the house. And he was crying because of that. Break that down, you're like, oh my god, he really said that? L's rolled up, I was packing that heat. 12 rolled up, I was slapping them feet. I'm slapping them feet. He was only 16, he was looking at three. Now he looking at me, pray to God he don't speak. That's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He looking at me, pray to God he don't speak. He talking about some, it was a 16 year old that he got involved with. That, you know what I'm saying, was packing that heat. 12 rolled up, he was slapping that feet. He's only 16, and he looking at three. He looking at me, I'm praying to God, he don't speak. But it's on the beat, and if you just listen, then you're not going to understand what he's really talking about. You're just hearing him rap. Water drip rich, so he gave him that leak. Bell's got my baby mama nails on fleek. I was seven years old, daddy thrown in the clink. Said life ain't fair, everybody going to cheat. You dig know what I'm saying? He talking about how... His dad was thrown into jail when he was seven years old, bro. And he's really expressing his pain. But through the music video, he's over here doing the, the dance. You know what I'm saying? He dances so much. He's smiling so much. He almost as if he's trying so hard to be liked. And he's trying so hard to make the people like him, right? And like the and what's crazy about the thing is that before the performance started, the woman that is checking them in. She says this one line, she goes, get the mop, there's gonna be some blood on the dance floor tonight. Benny, get the mop, baby boy. There's gonna be some blood in here. And I was watching this other video that was breaking down the video, and it was talking about how the girl can represent the music industry. 
And like, so when she's, you know, breaking down the rules to Childish Gambino, he's letting her, he's, she's letting him know, all right, so listen, we're not responsible for whatever you got going on, even if, you know what I'm saying, you get hurt. That don't got nothing to do with us. Go ahead and sign this up. That man said, I got a, I got a lawyer around here. Can I get him to look at this real quick? She says no. Do not make eye contact with the front row. They will take it as a challenge. We are not accountable or responsible for any damage to any instrument, including your body. Please sign it for My uncle is a boy in the city. It's okay, take a look at this first. No. That's fine. And he just goes along with it. And that just goes to show you how that ambition and that drive and that passion and that pride inside of these young rappers that come into the game getting ready to show off their their talents they're signing their likeness they're signing their, their basically life way this is what i've been telling y'all this is what i've been telling y'all in the um in the videos about like diddy and stuff like that when we watched that video about big milk and i was letting y'all know that these rappers be mad miserable these rappers be miserable walking around here, and that's why they always smoking, they always popping pills. And you like, what's wrong with you, young boy? There's a there's a there was a meme going around talking about how NBA young boy always frowned up in in public. He always frowned up, just smile, just 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 just. Hey, you will never see him with a smile. You rarely ever see young boy smiling until he go to jail. All of a sudden, he's smiling. He got the he smiles from ear to ear. And that, that doesn't really have anything to do with what I'm saying. But that, that's just an example to show that these rappers are living a miserable life. Even with the diamonds, even with the riches, even with the fame, even with the, with the, with the females. All that, bro. All that's besides the point, though. Let's keep it going. So, uh, he goes into verse 2. And I, don't, I forgot when the scene where the guy got shot comes in. <laughs> But we can talk about that before we go into verse two. So what makes what what makes the video so interesting is the fact that while he's performing in the first half before the guy gets shot, no one's interested in what he with you know what I'm saying? Like everybody's just sitting there like this. Just staring at him like you know what I'm saying? Like they don't like they're waiting for him to get done. You feel me? Like they ain't nobody worried about what he's doing right now. The second the man pulls up with the gun, and I don't know how he shot himself. I could have sworn Childish Gambino was going to get shot, but he shoots himself, and Childish Gambino kind of breaks character for a, he's not kind of, he completely breaks character, and he just sits there like, like he's like, he's terrified, right? But somebody in the background, this old man, he gets the laughing. <laughs> He gets to laughing. And once he starts laughing, what does everybody else start doing? Laughing. <laughs> now the entire building is laughing, right? And, um, you know, Child is getting, you know, he's sitting there. And he's like, okay, I guess I can start, you know, performing again. And then once he starts performing again, guess what? Now everybody else is dancing and laughing and clapping and, 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 and enjoying the performance. Why do you think that is? This goes back to that other point that I made a while back when I let y'all know. If y'all want to be popping in this music industry, you got to be negative, bro. You got to be negative. You got to be negative, bro. And it's so funny that Childish Gambino put out this song on this Holly Jolly beat. On this beat where, you know what I'm saying, you can, you can, you can go shopping at Target <laughs> to this beat. You think what I'm saying? But the lyrics, though, and we're so desensitized to these types of lyrics, he can rap the entire song like this, and we wouldn't even notice until we literally sat back and looked at these lyrics and really understood what he was saying. Cause it's just, it's just, we're so deeply programmed with this, with this messaging, and with this rhetoric that we don't even care no more. We don't even care no more. It, it can go completely over your head. Completely over my head when I first heard it. I really had to sit down like, okay, this is really what he was talking about. Anyway, verse two. Chicken soup, chicken soup, I got the wave. Move so smooth like butter like Shay. Crime don't pay. I ain't heard what they say. 
quarter brick, half a brick, whole brick. Hey, <laughs> you feel me? The way he's talking about it is like, you feel me? Cotton ball, white like ten house floors. Could have been broke. This the life I chose. They was in school. I was stirring that pot. Daddy couldn't come home. I was taking that spot. And this ain't. This is. This is literally the same stuff that every other rapper is rapping about. You can find this in any rap song. Any rap song. You can find it in any rap song. But it's the fact. It's the fact that when you sit back and you break it down, bro, it's sad, bro. It's sad. It is sad, bro. It is sad that this is literally the life he's ex he's breaking down and explaining the life of a mil. It's probably breaking down the life of Young Nudie, cause y'all know Young Nudie was featured on the song, and plus his 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 verse. Y'all you know how Young Young Nudie do it, y'all. If you're a Young Nudie fan, then you know he just be sliding. You know what I'm saying? They never, I've never heard a bad Young Nudie song. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing. Dark skin beauty got a booty so thick. She a down home chick. She hit, she'll hit that lick. Had to drop my own girl because she think that she was slick. I ain't seen him in a minute. Oh, yeah. I ain't seen him in a minute, so I, I think he might flip. Had to hit him with the stick, man. You know you inwards ain't woo. If you couldn't move bricks, I don't know. If I couldn't move bricks, I don't know what I would do. I ain't worried about mine. You can worry. I ain't worried about mine. You can worry about you. So he's talking about how he doesn't care about himself. You know what I'm saying? Basic stuff. You know what I'm saying? And out of nowhere, Young Nudie comes in. You know what I'm saying? He says what he gotta say. You know what I'm saying? He didn't really say nothing too too deep. You know what I'm saying? He was just rapping. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that meaning, man. I really feel like. If we don't wake up now, we ain't never gonna wake up. If we don't wake up and let these people know that we not messing with this stuff and we trying to we if we don't become a positive culture now, we'll never be able to turn back, bro. Ever, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that are waking up to the fact that there there's a very big difference in the who we are now and our culture now and what our culture was back then. And there's a lot of people that want to go back to that. But the way that the media has a, a mental grip on our youth and the way that our biggest influencers and our biggest pop stars, rap stars, you know what I'm saying? They promote nothing but degeneracy, bro. We're not gonna sit up here and act like that's new, but I'm just saying, if we don't make a change, there ain't gonna be no change. And it's gonna come to a point where you're gonna want a change. But if you've gone too deep into the water, you can't swim back up, bro. Once you go too deep into that water, you can't swim back up. You're just gonna drown forever. And the people that knew that they were supposed to be swimming back up, they done already went back up. And they're gonna leave you behind. They're gonna leave you behind. So now you're just gonna be drowning. Drowning in degeneracy, drowning in depression, drowning in this empty, this this bottomless pit of despair. And I know I'm, I know, I know I'm, I'm sounding like I'm being dramatic, and I'm sounding like I'm just being so drastic. But yo, this is you can take this as a PSA. Take this video that Donald Glover just put out as a PSA, bro. We are in trouble. Those people that was laughing in the background after that man got shot, that is a that is a mirror depiction of us. That is a reflection of us. That was a message. That 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 was literally him showing us in a more dramatic and a more explicit form. This is how y'all act. This is what y'all find funny. A man killing himself accidentally. Y'all will sit here and laugh at this. And find this as entertainment. Y'all didn't care about nothing when it was positive, even though what he wasn't, what he was saying wasn't positive. But the the the, the song itself, you know, what I'm saying melody wise and beat wise, and you know, what I'm saying something you could definitely jam. To. But y'all didn't care until it got negative. Even when I was expressing to you my pain, you still didn't care. 
But if you guys like this video, please go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications. Share this video with all of your friends. And until next time, guys. Peace out. Back against the wall, I never fall. I'm trying to get involved. All the haters get dissolved. Yeah, I know I piss them off. Run up on your whip and throw a cocktail, Molotov. Shotty say I'm super suave. I'm like, that's my brother name. This ain't no Nintendo 64, the girl, I'm not a game. People told me they would be there for me, but they never came.